Hello, this is Ben at Harrison Consoles. I want to demonstrate a quick and easy power user tip for Mixbus. This is dealing with the mutes and solos. Uh, normally, if you're playing your tracks and you want to solo a, a channel, you'll you'll left click it. So let's try that real quickly. But if I wanted to just temporarily solo it, I can use the middle button on my mouse to do a momentary solo. And it also works on mutes, so I'll try doing some temporary mutes and solos, and you'll see that it's a little faster because you don't have to click twice. You just click and hold it down to listen, and then release when, you, when you're done. So that's really easy. And a second power user tip is that you can hold Command and Shift and click on a mute or a solo. And, or a track arm, and it mutes all the tracks. And this is a cool feature. If you've just picked up a mix for the first time and you want to uh, get your head around it, sometimes it's nice to start by, control, by command, shift, clicking on the mute, and then building the track up from nothing. With all you lost, to find that missing piece when all you've done is left you incomplete. Now these features also work on the edit page, so if I switch over to the editor, I can momentarily solo from here. And I can use a command shift click to arm all the tracks at once, like a crash record. If I want to record, let's say I'm recording uh, 16 tracks at once from a band and I want to record all 16 at once, I can easily record all 16 tracks by uh, command shift. And when I say command, I also mean uh, control for our Windows and Linux users. So there are a couple of power user tips. I hope those help you make some better mixes.